Hello everybody and welcome back to Elderberry Sprout. Today it's the new moon so I'm going to dive into my grimoire to share with you guys a grimoire with me. So grab a cup of tea and come on this adventure with me. Okay to start off let's set the mood. Here I'm lighting a candle. This is a beeswax candle I poured into a silver container, which I really like. And I've also been focusing on the concept of self-love a lot recently. So right now I'm burning some rose-scented incense. Giving the space a little cleanse and setting the intention for this journaling session. So this blue paper is something that I painted when I was really little. <laughs> I think it's fun to integrate stuff from your past into your magical books. That way there's an added level of meaning there. I actually remember when I did these that we were only supposed to do one, but I couldn't stop myself from making them. I made, what, probably 20 different weird watercolor landscapes. So now I'm definitely benefiting from all of those. You might have seen them a little bit in my book in the past. Now, this page is going to be about the concept of eating a frog. You guys might have heard this quote before. If it's your job to eat a frog, it's best to do it first thing in the morning. And if it's your job to eat two frogs, it's best to eat the biggest one first. This is a quote from good old Mark Twain. I have heard from a couple sources that Mark Twain was a reincarnation of Adama St. Germain. One of his many lifetimes. And knowing that allows for me to really read into the wisdom that he shared in that lifetime. And this is definitely one of the pearls he shared. So I just wrote this quote on some green scrapbook paper. Green, because frogs generally are green. And now I'm just trimming it out so I can collage it all over the page. When I was originally filming this, I wasn't listening to anything or watching anything. Generally, I will at least listen to music. But I found myself singing quite a bit, which was really nice. <laughs> so one of the songs that I did cut out of this was uh, me singing some Carol King. Tapestry is just such a beautiful album. So one of the things I didn't cut out of this was me humming a little bit of Carol King. I've been finding it really fun to go into music that brings me positive energy and kind of a positive focus. And coming from a family who liked rock and roll and also loving rock and roll myself, I'm developing a playlist that has a lot of old rock and roll kind of spiritual music. It's got a lot of George Harrison on there. And yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to share that playlist with you sometime if you guys are interested. It finally got too dark for me to see, so I had to turn the light on here. The benefit is that you get to see these glorious watercolors shining under that light. So in here, I'm just using this gold watercolor to put the most important part of that saying, which is first thing in the morning. I've been really trying to focus on discipline, but not discipline from a hateful or uh, limiting perspective, but discipline in the sense of acknowledging how doing the hard things makes you feel afterwards and saying, wow, I feel so like relieved and proud of the fact that I did that and being able to embody doing a diff difficult thing first thing in the morning and having that sense of accomplishment is much more powerful energy to carry throughout the day instead of maybe carrying dread of doing a large task all day long and then having the stress of having to scramble to get it done before a deadline. So trying to have that sense of accomplishment and and maybe a little bit of pride mixed in instead of dread. I feel like that's a pretty powerful mental shift to have. And the power in that concept is that it's a decision you are making. It's not forced upon you. You're not a victim of having to eat a frog. You've chosen to eat the frog. <laughs> 
If you can choose to eat a frog, like, wow, the world is your oyster. Unfortunately, my camera cut out a little bit there, so I wasn't able to show you me adding the drop shadow to the first thing in the morning, but I just used a Sharpie for that. And here I'm just trimming these pages up. I noticed that the sides of these pages were a little bit empty, so I wanted to add something. I decided to do these kind of barren winter leafless trees, because right now it is the winter time. And even though things can be difficult, taking the active decision to combat that difficulty from an empowered place is much more powerful than feeling like the victim of a circumstance. For example, this morning it was really chilly. But instead of just bundling up on the couch, I started the fire, brought a whole bunch of firewood in, and really just layered up. And now I'm all cozy, the fire's going. I could have made it much more miserable. It wasn't necessarily comfortable to go out and get a whole bunch of hardwood and bring that in first thing in the morning. But doing that helped me out, and now I feel so cozy, and I can be much more productive because I'm not freezing. So here's the finished spread. I love how it turned out in the sense that it's the active decision that shines the light outward into the darkness. There's a little bit of empty space here. I'm sure you guys know I'm trying to work with empty space in my life and not filling everything up to the brim. So here's another bit of that practice. It's a little bit shorter of a video this time, you guys, but I hope you enjoyed seeing this process unfold and getting a little bit of insight into how I'm perceiving some tasks in my life. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I hope you have a magical day. Bye.